It is the fifth most common cancer in Canada, but the symptoms of lymphoma are similar to the effects of the flu, and not surprisingly, many who get the cancer find out too late. Today is World Lymphoma Awareness Day, and here to tell us more about the disease and knowing your nodes is lymphoma survivor Salima Lada. Thanks so much for being here, Salima. I appreciate it. My pleasure. I, I want to talk about your diagnosis, because I could really relate as a woman in my 30s. I was stunned at the point at, in your life in which you learned you had cancer. Tell us about when you were diagnosed. Yeah, it, you know, you never think it's going to happen to you, and I certainly was one of those people. I was 31 years old. I had just finished my MBA. We had bought a new home. I was starting out my career. Everything was going great. Well, and your married life, right? Yeah, I've been married for nine years now, but at that time it was six years. Everything was going fine. While I was doing my MBA, I did notice I was feeling run down. I got tired really easily. Once I finished my MBA, I crashed. And mm -hmm. that's when I, I started having symptoms of um, itchiness. I'd have a fever that wouldn't go away. I would be very weak, very much in pain. And it was, I wasn't well. I'd go to doctors and they just would shrug their shoulders. There's like, we don't know what's wrong with you. You, you know? got the flu. Yeah, you it's, you're just burnt out. You know, it's, it's nothing. And unfortunately, this led to me getting very ill. So soon after, I mean, I was sick for about two years while doing the MBA. And the cancer's advancing in you at that time, right? Yeah, but yet even <clears throat> I thought, you know, it's just burnout. Mm -hmm. I'll be okay. And it wasn't until the summer of 2003 when I got term very, very ill. In I fact, they told you you were not, when you eventually got the cancer diagnosis, they told you right. you were not going to survive, right? That's right. In January of 2004, I was given the, the date of departure stamp. And um, it was a blow to me, to my family. No doubt. Yeah. And, you know, at that time, I, I gave up briefly. And then I thought, you know what, I can beat this. I was stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Can Very you explain aggressive. the difference between Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's for the average person? Sure, certainly. It, Hodgkin's lymphoma has a lymphocyte, which is a white blood cell, that's not... Um, common in any of the other lymphomas. So it's called the Reed Sternberg cell. So that's just what differentiates Hodgkin's from non Hodgkin's. It's, which is the more dangerous? Or are they both dangerous? They're both, they both have their own different dangers and prognosis. And right. So e it really varies. Did from you know individual. what ly lymphoma was at the time? Not really. You know, I, I had heard of it. I knew it was a cancer, but I didn't really know what a lymph node was or what it did for your system, you know, but yet it's so important to learn that. Had I known, then I think I would have got diagnosed earlier. Well, let's talk about that because I mentioned that all of us get sick at one time or another, may get some pain in the armpits and what we think are our nodes or our glands, but they're different, right? What are the symptoms that, that the average person could look for if they want to be aware? Something that lots of people, and I think you touched on it, lots of people experience flu-like symptoms. So they think, oh, I just have a flu that won't go away. Symptoms of lymphoma, the tiredness, the, the unexplained fever, the itchiness, the pain, a persistent cough that won't go away. If these are prolonged, you should go see your doctor. A lot of Canadians don't know about this. They mm -hmm. don't know their nodes. And that's why we're today on World Lymphoma Awareness Day. We want to encourage people to check out knowyournodes.ca. Learn about your nodes. Learn about your lymphatic system. It filters out all the bacteria in your body. Right. Like its job is to protect you yeah. from it, attacking bacterias and bad elements, it right? It fights against infection and cancer. So, I mean... That's the irony, isn't it? That in so the end, Important. You get a cancer of this system that's supposed to protect you. That's right. You're in remission. Very briefly, can you tell us why you think you're there? I think that I was lucky enough to have the family support and the advocacy where my husband and my mom were fighting for a new drug that wasn't readily available. We were given the drug um, about four months after I was told I was going to die. Given that, after that, things were on the upswing. And, um, You've been in remission for how long I've now? been in remission for two years come December, and I think it's a bit of a miracle to boot, but, you know, support, treatment, advocacy. And early detection. Early detection. Well. Thank you so know much for coming in. Thank you very much. Thank you, Salima. We really appreciate it, and good luck to you. Let us know how you do in the future. Thank you. If you'd like to take the Know Your Nodes awareness quiz, the lymphoma awareness quiz, you can go to the website. Salima mentioned it. It's knowyournodes.ca.